and this afternoon we're noticing those clouds continuing to filter in. Now you see some rain showers just to our west. Well, a lot of it's fizzling out, a lot of it not even reaching the ground as we still have some really dry air. But overall can't rule out a sprinkle or two in some spots, especially north of the city as we head into the evening. The bulk of this is not getting here until we head into the overnight and also into uh, tomorrow, especially on Thursday afternoon, early evening hours. But this is all ahead of this front that's going to continue uh, to slide our way. So let's take a look here at Futurecast. This is a wider view for you. You can see what we're talking about. Warm fronts going to lift in as we get into early tomorrow morning. So Pittsburgh and north uh, to parts of Lawrence, also into Beaver, Butler County. Better chance to see some of that rain to start the day. The further south you live of the city along I-70 southward, you can see a little bit of sunshine. It's really not going to be too bad for us. Now that cold front will pass as we get into Thursday evening. Still as that cooler air wraps around this low, we can't rule out some spotty showers 7, 8 o'clock. But our good friend high pressure is going to build in. That's going to help dry us out as we get into Friday. Really decrease that cloud cover into Friday afternoon. It's going to shape up to be really nice for high school football games on Friday night. So future cast showing uh, still around 5, 6 o'clock uh, as we get into the evening up along I. 80 Mercer, even Venango, northern parts of Butler County can't roll out a stray shower. Like I said, I think most of us will stay dry. Clouds will break a little bit in some spots, but still expecting partly to mostly cloudy skies into the overnight. This is a game changer for us. By the time a lot of you head out for the commute on Thursday morning, 6, 7 a.m., you can see from Pittsburgh north how a lot of that heavier rain will hit parts of Lawrence, even into Beaver, Mercer, Venango, Clarion, Butler, even into Armstrong County. Widely scattered showers still around lunchtime as that cold front continues to slide eastward. Hit or miss shower hours at Thursday evening. They'll be very light. I think the heaviest of the rain will be as we get into the afternoon on Thursday. But Friday again looks nice for us. Mostly cloudy to start. Then we'll see some sunshine by Friday afternoon. If anything, you just need those jackets as you head to the high school football games on Friday night. Right now it's just a little gloomy downtown. All that fog has lifted, but it's still a beautiful shot of our city. 45 degrees right now in Pittsburgh. Those winds are coming out of the east northeast at about nine miles per hour and around the area still a little chill to the air. 44 right now into Newcastle, even Cranberry. Franklin at 39 degrees. Altoona 44, 40 into Somerset, Washington sitting at 48. Now as we continue throughout the day today, I think a lot of us will hover into the upper 40s and low 50s. Those clouds will continue to thicken up. Spotty showers possible again, mainly north as we get around 5, 6 o'clock. But I think a lot of this rain is going to hold off until after midnight tonight. Down near 47, so not nearly as cold as it was this morning. We had those temperatures down even below the freezing mark. But here's your four day plus four more forecasts. So with anything, that warm front's going to bring our temps back up near 60 degrees. So we will see our overnight temps again down into the upper 40s for the weekend. Spotty showers possible, especially Saturday night into Sunday. Low to mid 60s, but for now, we're going to stay dry on for all the trick-or-treaters Halloween on Monday. Janelle. Thanks, Ash.